Welcome back to another Beaver Branch Disc Golf Clinic. We are on step four Anheuser shots. I know what you're thinking. You throw forehand. Learn how to throw Anheuser shots as well. Uh, because the Anheuser backhand Anheuser shot will get to places that the forehand can't get to. All right. We are going to continue the series here. We have learned how to throw the disc straight in steps one and two. We covered the hyzer shot in step number three and step four, Anheuser's. Here we go. Greetings. Welcome to Beaver Branch Adventures Disc Golf Clinic, step number four. This is gonna be on the Anheuser. An Anheuser, if you're right hand backhand and you're throwing your disc and it spins clockwise, an Anheuser is gonna move from left over to the right, okay? If you are left handed and you're spinning, spinning the disc counterclockwise, an Anheuser is going to move from the right over to the left. We are gonna build off of step one, which step one was throwing the disc straight. We learned how to throw with a hyzer release and to make it go straight. In order to move to an anhyzer, we're gonna adjust our projection height so that it's up a little bit higher. And we have to kind of teeter totter on increasing our arm speed and getting the correct angle to make the disc Flip, o flip over and then move from left to right. This takes work. It takes getting to know your discs. So let's go out and get some examples. All right, we're gonna start off here with putters. Putters are uh, one of the easiest discs to do an Anheuser with. Uh, often, underrated people think oh it's a putter but you can usually get a putter pretty far so taking a look at the angle here um the angle that it looks like i'm releasing at in slow motion was um basically about flat from what i saw so you figure to throw it straight we're putting that hyzer on it and then to get it to go to the right we're almost releasing it at flat um allowing it to move to the right now putters typically if you once you get them over they are just going to continue to go on that angle so often looking at putters is like a point and shoot type shot and you, i can usually get putters anywhere to like 200 to 240 feet here we're going to get some air underneath of it and try to make a nice like 90 degree turn you can see the release there on that one was uh flat maybe a little bit over flat almost an anhydra release um, but really trying to get the projection up into the air and trying to let the disc move to the right obviously anhydra is the opposite of hyzer and we're looking to go the opposite direction, over to the right. And putters, you can get some really good shots in the woods with putters when you're trying to shape shots. And the key is to get that balance right where you're not throwing it so hard that you flip it over and roll it, but that it comes in and slides on the ground. So putters, hands down, once you get them over, or once you get them turning, they pretty much want to continue on with that path, um, especially the, um, the understable putters that I was throwing. You can elongate that Anheuser shot by throwing something more stable and putting a little bit of turn on it yourself and make it a different shape. But just for basic practice, try to work off of your straight line shot raising it up, putting a little bit more arm speed on it, and making it work to the right. 
We're gonna step up to fuses now. I got the um, Johnny McRae Team Series and the Opto, and we're gonna work on throwing around a 290 foot Anheuser shot with these discs. Let's check it out. All right, and here we go. So a couple of things we have to calculate in here when trying to do an Anheuser is that arm speed and the angle of release. And it takes that field work to be able to figure out exactly where you need to go. Now you'll notice here that on these first two shots, I kind of went straight slash faded out a little bit over there on the left. And what I didn't notice when I was on the tee pad was that there's actually a very slight breeze, a tailwind, causing that disc to stabilize. Now when that happens, you're gonna need more arm speed, more angle to get it over. And then one thing about the fuse, as you see on that shot, is once you get it over, similar to a putter, it really just keeps going over. Um, so this time I work a correction set, calculating in that tailwind, I'm gonna increase my arm speed here and try to adjust the angle. You can see it's a very flat release and I'm gonna to try to get it up into the circle. Typically when I'm doing field work, the goal is to get it into the circle. And a lot of times when I am practicing, I'll go ahead and put whatever disc it is uh, into the basket. Once you're inside the circle, um, you know, it's just good reps either which way. So I corrected these shots. Um, and got most of, I think it got all of them into the circle on the second try, but the fuse was definitely, um, it didn't seem like it was enough disc for this shot. And in a second, we're gonna step it on up to the fairway drivers. In this round of shots, uh, just like we do with the putter, we're gonna put a little bit more height on it and let the disc really swing over to the right. And the key here is to try to find that perfect angle where you're not pulling it over into a roller and that you're allowing that disc to really move as far right as possible and then sliding onto the ground. All bets are off if you get a headwind, just to mention that. That's typically where you're going to need to disc up or go a little bit more stable or just pick a whole nother shot altogether. All right, last up, we're going to go with the seven speed fairway drivers. I have two rivers, two Mavericks that you guys have seen in the previous videos. Um, I do not think I have enough distance for me with the fuse here. I'm going to throw the same shot with the Maverick in the river, and I think I can pin it. Let's check it out. All right, here we go with a few of my favorite fairway drivers. Maverick is going to be up first. And understable fairway driver, as you guys know looking to get it over and we know that there was a little bit of tailwind out there and letting it break to the right and trying to get up into the circle. Again, it was a flat release, kind of projectile out to the left and letting it come over to the right. You can see that one was trying to straighten at the end or fade back. Up next are the rivers. Looking to get them over. Rivers have a, a lot of nice glide to them. They're a glide seven disc. Maverick is a glide four. If that's why you might think the river's floating in the air a little bit longer in that. But definitely a nice round of shots there. Um, I think the Maverick is dialed in right at like 300 feet at about that distance. And so is the river. 
All right, folks, that's gonna wrap up step four, the Anheuser shot. Um, I had to work a little bit on my own angles there, but learning how to throw it straight and building off of that really helps with getting that disc to be able to move to the right. Throwing it too hard or too much angle is gonna cause it to flip over and roll. And what you have to do is find that, that perfect balance to where you can get the disc to move to the right and get it to go where you want it to go. Obviously, we're using understable discs here. If you start using a little bit more stability or a little bit more speed, you can make that shot go a little bit longer or even fade back a little bit. But for the basics here of just getting a disc over and throwing a basic Anheuser shot, that is going to be a wrap for this video step four thanks for watching like share it with your friends and subscribe and we'll see you later all right before we go let's review steps one through four step one and two we talked about throwing straight shots i'm going to throw a straight shot with my retro fuse Step two, we talked about throwing hyzer shots with understable plastic. I'm gonna throw a hyzer shot with my retro fuse. Step four, we talked about Anheuser shots. I'm gonna throw an Anheuser shot with my trusty retro Fuse. that's a wrap join us next time when i think we're going to move on to putting we'll see you